chapter one. The other day, in looking over my papers, I found in my desk the following copy of a letter, sent by me a year since to an old school acquaintance. Dear Charles, I think when you and I were at Eton together, we were neither of us what could be called popular characters. You were a sarcastic, observant, shrewd, cold-blooded creature. My own portrait, I will not attempt to draw. But I cannot recollect that it was a strikingly attractive one. Can you? What animal magnetism drew thee and me together, I know not. Certainly, I never experienced anything of the Pylades and Orestes sentiment for you. And I have a reason that you, on your part, were equally free from all romantic regard to me. Still, out of school hours we walked and talked continually together. When the theme of conversation was our companions or our masters, we understood each other. And when I recurred to some sentiment of affection, some vague love of an excellent or beautiful object, whether inanimate or inanimate nature, your sardonic coldness did not move me. I felt myself superior to that check then as I do now. It is a long time since I wrote to you, and a still longer time since I saw you. Chancing to take up a newspaper of your country the other day, my eye fell upon your name. I began to think of old times, to run over the events which have transpired since we separated, and I sat down and commenced this letter. What you have been doing I know not. But you shall hear, if you choose to listen, how the world has worked with me. Thank you.